everyone. Happy Monday to you. Hope everybody's day is going well. I have here a four pack of sauces that I got for Christmas. Uh, it's from the Modern Gourmet Hot Sauce. These are ranging from not so spicy to hot, extra hot, and then extremely hot. I've never had them before. Um, so I figured why not open them and uh, give them a whirl, see how they are, see what happens here. I don't think this one here is the not so spicy, kind of a blank bottle, uh, the hot, uh, extremely hot, and extremely hot. So they sent me two <laughs> that are extremely hot. Okay. So we're missing the extra hot, I guess. Oh, no, that is, ex no, that's extremely, and extremely. So somebody couldn't read, I guess. I'm not sure what happened there. So we'll put that one aside. So let's start off with this. I don't know if they give you the ingredients for each one. This is water, green chili, sugar, salt, rice vinegar, xanthan gum, rosemary, potassium, sorbate, paprika, blah, blah, blah. So whatever green chili they used, I guess, we shall see. I'm not the biggest green sauce fan. I can't say this is gonna change my mind just by the smell of it. Not much smell. But let's give it a shot. It's very unappetizing, I gotta be honest. It's kind of uh, almost gelatin-like, very weird. Very citrusy, almost very, smells like lime. Let's see. Oh God. <coughs> oh, I think I'd rather do the Bean Boozled again before I Ugh. Ever, ugh. Oh, this is awful. This, I think I'll just pour down the chipmunk holes. Ugh. I don't recommend that. I'm hoping for much more out of this hot sauce, which... Contains water, pumpkin, red chili, sugar, salt, acetic acid, lemon juice, xanthan gum, potassium sorbate, concentrated chili extract. Interesting. Okay. Let's see. Make this a little easier than the last time. No, it's not gonna happen. Should probably give it a shake. Ugh, still got that taste of disgust in my mouth. I will say, I mean, that first sauce was definitely mild. This doesn't smell much different than that. I smell vinegar. Very vinegar forward. I know it says pumpkin, but I don't know. Again, very gelatinous looking sauce. It's almost like tomato soup. That's what this looks like. 
smells like a bad version of Tabasco. Definitely not much hotter than the other one. It's got more of a building type heat, I guess, but it's really just right there. Nothing ex You can't see Bob. They're not very, not super thick. There's some bits of goodness in there, I guess, but flavor-wise, can't give it a thumbs up, to be honest. Not sure what I'll use that on either. Heat-wise, not bad. Maybe like a, it's enough to warm your tongue. Kind of sit in the back of your throat, more like a, kind of like a cayenne pepper, so to speak. So now we'll get into this extremely hot which says it's water, red chili, salt, sugar, rice vinegar, spices, which are chili powder and rosemary, acetic acid, lemon juice, water. Oh, that's the ingredients for that. Lemon juice. Xanthan gum, concentrated chili extract, potassium sorbate, paprika, or leskin. Contains wheat. So again, we got some extract in here, but I don't know. We are skipping the extra hot. So we're going from hot to extremely hot because, well, they gave me two bottles of the same. So let's see what happens here. I already know this is not gonna taste good. <laughs> I don't think there's much difference in smell between any of these sauces so far. The difference is probably going to be just the amount of extract. I mean, there's definitely a color difference between the hot and the extremely hot, but eh, I guess we'll find out. This one's a little thicker than this is thick tomato soup. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> it's so gross. It's like tomato soup texture. <laughs> Ugh. Almost taste. I don't even know how to describe the taste, but it just sits there and then all of a sudden you do get a little heat explosion. And then it kind of just stays there for their extremely hot. I don't know what percentage. Again, I think this is kind of one of those you get it like a, like a Target or something for the holidays, some holiday gift pack. Don't recommend it. Don't buy it for somebody that you think likes hot sauce. You'll just make an enemy. As soon as the heat explodes, it's there for about a minute. It's only, it's really tongue and throat. But, uh, I don't know. I don't really know what I would use this on. So, I think I will chug it. I've never chugged a bottle of sauce. No reason for it to test, nah, go to waste, I guess. So, why not? In the spirit of things, chug it. So here's my first chug.
Anyway, you gotta say, modern gourmet, hot sauce, steer clear. Ugh. Ugh. It's not good as a gift to, re Ugh. to receive or give. I gotta say, I expected a lot more from chugging a bottle, but I guess you can see the little bits of there's some pepper bits I guess Ugh, just a terrible flavor and we all know that flavor kind of comes first so anyway guys thanks for joining me on my first chug and maybe next time hopefully it'll be a much better sauce <laughs>